Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode. We are playing the second episode today. Assembly required. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. Okay. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. Well, no shit. That's the wither stone. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? Aww. Okay, we're on train. This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If you don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> Uh-oh... It's a gap! Ah! Ow! 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 Ah. Hide! Ah! Great! More gas! The mine carts! Do something about the ghast! Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? You know it! So long as you really know what you're doing with it. Okay, we're all set to go again. Hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign. Redstonia. Redstonia, here we come. We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering? Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? I hope so. <laughs> Yeah. 
how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. The command block? So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, oh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? Uh... I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Can you give her a message, please? No, uh, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. The world is going to get eaten by a giant monster if you don't let us talk to Eligard. Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Okay, sure, that would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. What? This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. <laughs> Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Yep. Another repeater is what we need. Okay, we're in the free mode now. A lever. I wonder what it does. Flying mission. Oh no! Oh no! 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 So high! Going so very high! Sorry! That's okay! Now that the fear has completely paralyzed me, I'm almost enjoying myself! Tell your friends about my invention! Spent ages on it! Wow! Hello there, I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cowpult! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. Be amazed, be astounded, let your wonders be compounded! Hey, you got any spare repeaters? I could really use one. Oh, sorry friend, tapped out. Why are you doing this to cows? Oh, spare me the false compassion. Deep down in all people, there lurks the overwhelming desire to throw cows. What? Admit it! 
And what do you have here? You are about to witness the world's first cowapult machine. I came up with the idea when I lived in a place called Boomtown, but now I am here and the cows are a flying. Can't help but notice you checking out my cowapult friend. It's got an easy to use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first. <laughs> oh, believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. Especially the ones that survive. Of course not. Pig, you're seriously missing out here. <laughs> yeah, let him miss out. <laughs> 